All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a carousel menu um, in Flutterflow. And yeah, so it's using, or I guess I'll basically describe what it's doing. Um, so basically, we're using a carousel package to show the images, and we are, we're also showing the, I guess, the title of the next screen. And so the next screen is basically any time you click on one of these, you see, I clicked on login and it went to um, login, the login page. See that at the top, the header. And so, yeah, I'm using the carousel slider package. And yeah, so I've, I've done this already, so I'll just go through it. That way, the video won't be long. You don't have to watch me type, but I will go through the code as well. So, um, yeah, so you'll click here to create a custom widget, you click add. We click widget and then um, so initially well I guess I'll do it just to show you so you already named this so you you click like my carousel menu I won't I actually delete this but whatever and then uh, or you can name it the same thing I named it and just copy the code because I have the full source code at the bottom of this article if you scroll to the bottom, um, yeah, I also have it in the video description as well. But yeah, the only thing you need to add is JSON mini items. And that would be a JSON property. And you just click save widget and compile code. Or I guess before you do that, click this uh, button here. It gives you the boilerplate, so you'll see we, we only have the imports um, right now, so we don't have any of this. If you click this, you can copy this, I guess, but uh, to make it even easier, just click copy the editor, and it will copy the code for you. So yeah, I'm going to delete this because I really don't need to let me... <laughs> Maybe I need to save it first. Okay, I don't need this anymore, so I'll go ahead and delete it. And we'll just look at this code. So yeah, you can really just copy all of this code, so even the import. Um, but I guess we'll go through the article, because I break down the steps more. So I just went through this part where we're clicking on the left-hand side, uh, custom functions, menu item. Click add, then widget, give it the name. Initially, it only gives us the import code. We also need to add the parameter JSON mini items as a, a JSON property. And then click view boilerplate code, the top right. Um, and then it should show that screen, then click copy the editor, and then click save. And you also want to click compile. I'll fix this article to include that, but yeah. Um, so you also want to add this carousel uh, slider dependency so I'll just show you because I didn't go through that on the other one but yeah so you just click add dependency and just copy this um, or you type this out you don't have to copy it I mean I don't think I gave <laughs> the actual code to copy I'll add it here just to make it easier um, but you can also click on the link at the top that takes you to this packages um, packages homepage yeah it will give you to you there as well so we also need to add the local state uh so i'll show you is it i believe it's this one so yeah i've already done this but you click add state variable and you give it to name like my custom json i don't know you can name it the same thing i did already but <laughs> And then you click the JSON, you choose the JSON property type. So we don't need persistent, but you, I guess you can if you want. And then you just copy and paste this in there. Yep, and then you just click, or I'm on a Mac, so Command S. You see it says save project. So I guess on Windows it's control S, right? But yeah. 
So the next thing you need to do is create um uh wait, did I go over I think I go over the code next. Yeah, I guess it's better to go over the code because yeah, it'll make more sense. I'll go over the JSON first, so yeah. <laughs> Notice this has detail twice as the title, so I'll change this before I uh, finish uploading it. But yeah, so this should be login. So these are three different pages. So this is a JSON array. If you notice the square brackets, I should maybe format this better, but yeah. Um, but yeah, in the, in the array, it basically is a list of objects, basically. So we have three items. See this one, two, and three. So home page copy, detail, and login. They each have three properties. So title, route, and image URL. So title is just the text that you want to show under the image. The route is the page you want to go to. These just I just happen to name it the same thing, but it has to match the actual uh, name that you give it on the Flutter UI builder. So yeah, I'll show you that here in a minute. Yep, and then so we just did that where we copied that. Uh, now writing the custom carousel menu code. Okay, yeah, so first we'll add the import for the package. And then we'll create a carousel item class. So I'll just show you that. I mean, if you just copied the code, I guess you don't have to. <laughs> I guess I'm just giving context, uh, yeah. So basically it's outside of all of the other classes. It's like taking a while to load, so. Yeah. So see here, I would just put it at the bottom uh, on that custom carousel code. Yep, and so the carousel item, basically this holds the same properties as the JSON, each JSON object in that, carousel, in that JSON array. So see, even has the same name, image URL, title, and route. If you want to add, I guess, more data to it, just add another uh, variable under route. And also make sure you're passing it, it to the constructor and setting it to the um, to the objects of property. Yep, and then so you also need to. Uh, okay, yeah, so this will just be empty at first. So you need to add this list of carousel items. So that'll be the list that the carousel uses to render all of your carousel menu items. They need to override init state. And so init state basically only gets called once, um, once the widget loads. So yeah, then we'll call build, build carousel widgets inside of that. And so it does, um, a couple of things so we're going to each item in that json array here so widget use widget and then the name of the uh, parameter to get that to access the item or the object and then yeah we're adding that to uh, this list of carousel items so i'm creating here i'm creating a new carousel item <laughs> maybe i should have broke the code up to make it more readable, but yeah. So I'm creating a new carousel item or a new carousel, yeah, a carousel item object using the data from the from that current um, JSON object in that JSON array. <laughs> so it will go through the homepage copy one. It will get the image URL, the title, the route. Just make sure you're passing it in the same order. So uh, image URL, title, route. So to make sure it gets set to the right thing. And yeah, so we're creating an array, a list of carousel items use, um, using the data in the JSON array. And then, so now we need to update the build carousel or <laughs> the build uh, method to return the carousel. So we use the carousel sliders builder. And so you'll need, need to give it a carousel or, or uh, item count. <laughs> so I use the length of the carousel items that we just created. And then, yeah, so here we're creating, we're getting each uh, 
I'm getting we're looping through the data again, basically, you could say. It does more than that, but yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to break it down as easy as I can. But yeah. So we'll get the current item. Um, we'll get the title from the item, the route, and the image URL. And yeah, I probably should have done that here to make it more readable, but it's it's close to the same thing, but yeah. And so we're returning the gesture detector. And so this is what allows you to click on an item. You can wrap any widget with this. And when you click on it, you can listen for on tap, uh, I believe like on swipe or something like that. It has It gives you a lot of different gestures to detect. But yeah, anyways, we'll give that a child um, of two things, the image and then we also have properties on that, in which I just copied, I believe I copied this part from the carousel packages uh, demo code. Yeah, but then right under the image, we're showing the title. So it doesn't have to match the name, but I guess it might make sense to match it. <laughs> the name of the new page you're clicking on. And then we have options here. We don't want it to autoplay. We want to enlarge the center page and we'll give it an X aspect ratio of two. I believe I just copied these from the code on their package demo, whatever, the carousel's package demo. And you'll notice this is the code that actually goes to the new um, page. And this is the code that Flutterflow actually uses, but it doesn't work on the Flutterflow <laughs> online editor. And so I guess one workaround to, uh, to get this to work on the online editor is to comment this out and then run it uh yeah and then you'll just um after it finishes running you'll uncomment this save it and you'll build the widget i believe you don't have to build it really but you just look instant reload and it will it will work like that but <laughs> so this is the code it actually gives it just doesn't work on the online editor so if you download the code and you create like an action that goes to another page, you'll see that's what it gives you. Or you can right click on it as well. But yeah. And so, yeah, that's all the code really. So we'll go back to where I was earlier. So I described everything <laughs> pretty much. Let's see if I missed something. So yeah, yeah I described uh, the build carousel widgets method. Yep. And I described how the same thing I just told you. It gives errors on the online editor, but yeah. So now we need to set up screens to run the custom widget. So you notice in that uh, JSON array, we gave it names like um, we gave the names as homepage copy login and detail for the routes. So for the routes, I just click homepage copy. You have to make sure the name here, the scaffold name, I guess that's what it is, yeah, is the same thing as what you put as the route in the JSON for each list. So I have homepage copy login in detail. If you look at this, or it's not this one. Homepage copy uh, detail. Oh, wait, it's supposed to be the route. So homepage copy detail and login to, yeah, and the title is supposed to be login. Uh, yeah. And so you'll create those three screens and give it those names. Then on the home page, you'll just copy uh, your custom carousel widget. And yeah, so if you click on here, click on this diamond and then you just find your custom widget you drag and drop it here yeah and then now yeah for mine i just gave it a height of 350 you can do like 300 i don't know you can <laughs> do it how you want uh yeah but you'll also set the variable so it'll say unset at first so you just click this and then i'll just remove it just to show you so you click unset You'll click local state. And then you'll just click your um, local state JSON property. You'll leave it at no further changes. You'll just click confirm. And you'll save it.
Command S on Mac, Control S on the Windows. Um, and then, yeah, what else? Yeah, I just described that. This is me showing you uh, my properties for that widget. And then, yeah. And then we'll just do instant reload. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll run it just to show you an example of how to run it on online editor. It's really better to run it on your device. But if you can't for some reason, yeah, this is a workaround. But just to make sure to comment it out before you add any new functionality to it, because I believe it it won't work without it. It'll throw errors. Yeah. And also, I think it won't let you download it without commenting that out. So when you do download it, just to make sure that you find uh, the file name and uncomment that out and save it. And then, yeah, just run the project again. Okay, now, so you see the, uh, we have the curve cell working. Notice when I click on it, um, any of the items, it doesn't go anywhere. That's because we have that code commented out. And so if you wanna test it on the online editor, just have to go back to this code and uncomment that out. If it lets me, I might have to refresh this page, let's see. Okay, so we'll go back to this. I'll click carousel menu. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but it's not loading. <laughs> so you'll just uncomment this out. So basically just remove these two uh, forward slashes, save it and then compile it again. And then you just click instant reload and you'll be able to click this. Uh, so I have, a, I have another demo I'll show you in a minute. I recorded it earlier, but um, I didn't save the actual audio. I didn't record the audio, so yeah. But I also had that GIF, I guess, in the first thing that I showed you. How it works. So you click on the login, it goes to login. But yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's how to uh, make a carousel menu in Flutterflow.